Good morning and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. So last night we, in the middle of the night, we had a really good, uh, or quick thunderstorm, very windy, lots of uh, rain. So I'm very excited to go and check out my garden today and see how everything's making out. As you can see, there was uh, a bit of wind last night, a few things blown around the yard, but uh, let's go check out the plants and see how everything's doing today. So the raised garden beds are really taking off now. I'm starting to see a lot of growth happening and getting pretty excited. I've got the couple lettuces here that came out of my winter sowing jugs. They are doing good. I've picked a few crops uh, or a few harvests off of them already. Over here I got a cabbage. This is one of those mystery plants that showed up in my lettuce barrels um, along with my seeds. I'm, I'm assuming it's a cabbage. I re, uh, transplanted it over here in this empty spot in my raised garden, so we're going to see how that goes. And I didn't have a zucchini plant, so I broke down and went and bought one yesterday. And again, another empty spot in the garden that I needed to fill, so that looks like it is uh, doing good. I got my two kinds of beets coming along really good here. As soon as they get a little bit bigger, I can start weeding around them, but I have a golden beet and a Red Bull beet coming along here. So they're looking good. The nasturtium plant is going crazy in the middle, taking over the space, kind of drowning out my basils, but we'll see if they can get along. Got my tomatoes coming here and got my trellis ready for them to hopefully start climbing. And some more tomatoes over here. I think these are cherries. Black cherry, yellow pear. And I kind of forgot to mark these, so I'm not sure which ones are going to be the bigger slicer types, but we'll wait and see. And then over here, I've harvested a few radishes already. I can see there are a few more ready. And then I replanted in this one square of my... Um, garden here, some more radish seeds. Carrots are coming. Again, kind of waiting for them to get a little bigger before I thin them out and get rid of some of the weeds. I got two kinds of onions here, a red and a yellow. Looking good. Yesterday when I was in the greenhouse, I bought one more cucumber. I bought a cucumber cucamelon, which I was trying to grow from seed a few times and could not get it to germinate, so I bought a couple plants yesterday to greenhouse, so hopefully that comes along. And then I've got three other kinds of cucumbers going here. Over on this side, we have beans, Kentucky, Kentucky blue beans. They haven't started climbing yet, but they're getting close. And two kinds of peas, just a regular homesteader and a sugar snap are coming along there. And the peppers haven't done too much. I'm hoping now that it's getting hot, they will take off. I got a couple sun gold sweet peppers and the other ones are hot peppers. Can't remember what they're called. So yeah, the raised gardens are looking great. And of course my lettuces are needing a harvest again. I've done a video on this as well. But yeah, they are crazy. Spinach is uh, ready for some picking today and the arugula looking good. Some more salads, some more smoothies on the menu this week. Then I planted some more stuff this week. I don't know why, but I had some empty containers. I got some more carrots in here in a grow bag. 
some beets in this pail. Onions, some more onions. I can't remember what kind these all are, but coming along good. I've got some Roma tomatoes starting to come on this plant here. Another one's looking good, starting to climb up the stake. I believe these again are a cherry blend, either black cherry or yellow pear. And this one is a beef steak that I bought. The one plant in this tub wasn't doing good, so I picked up a beef steak at the greenhouse the other day. And then these are my crazy out of control potatoes. The Austrian crescent fingerling potatoes that I did a video on at the beginning of the year. Planting these in the black girl bags. As you can see, they are thriving. They got loaded with blooms now. So they should be producing some potatoes hopefully soon. So I'll be looking forward to checking that out and doing a video on harvesting some of these potatoes. Over here we got my corn. Three containers of corn going. They are taking off really good. Some of these I started the seeds in an egg carton. Uh, started them indoors and then brought them out. Some of them I popped in a few seeds into the soil when I planted these. I'll put the link to the video for that down below. They seem to be doing good. I'm hoping that they will thrive in these containers. We'll see how that goes. So this is something I'm also very excited about is my potatoes that I started in the straw. This, the video for this is also linked below. Shows how I just put these potatoes under a thick layer of straw. I didn't do any digging. No rototilling, just laid them down and covered them up. And they are starting to pop through. So what I'll do now is just get a, some more straw and basically hill them up with more straw, cover up the, the grass and the weeds that are coming up around them. And they should uh, continue to grow as normal. Hopefully by the end of July or whenever we will have fresh potatoes. Just want to show you some of my flowers that I have started in my barrels and cream cans. These cream cans are kind of special because they have come from my husband's grandparents' farm. They were dairy farmers here um, back in probably the 30s and 40s. And these cream cans have managed to st stick around the farm all these years. And they make a good planter for flowers. You can actually see the family name, Beresov. They still, uh, you can still see this on these cans, but I just think they make a very nice planter in our yard. So I hope you enjoyed my tour this morning of my gardening progress. I will probably do another one in a few weeks as things continue to grow and progress and start harvesting more things from the garden. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. Hope you have a great day.